cabin was in pretty rough shape when we first got this. Bike. Understatement. But we've worked really hard mm -hmm. and made a lot of improvements. And last fall, I finally got around to the exterior of the cabin. The only problem was I didn't quite finish. I thought you were done. <laughs> yeah, I only got the walls done that you could see. The back wow. walls, not so much. Now the seasons have changed. We're back to good weather. Mm -hmm. So now we can do it. And I'm going to help. That's right. <laughs> You're leading this project. I'm leading this project. Oh, God. So here's the plan. We finish covering Tyvek. Yep. Staple that on. Mm -hmm. We finished putting tape over all the joints and I used a bunch of scraps, so. I see that. There's a lot of tape. <laughs> okay. Then we strap it. Yeah. Then it's ready for board matting. Easy peasy. Sort of textbook. So how would you describe what board and batten is? Board and batten is um, ripping wood boards to make a wall and then sealing the gaps in between those boards with smaller boards called battens. It's board pretty, and batten. It's pretty good. You got some experience with the... The Robertson drill? Yeah. What do you think? That's silly. <laughs> it takes a while to um, get good at screwing, at drilling the bits in. Screwing. At, at drilling the screws in, at drilling the screws in, but it is amazing how quickly your confidence builds and yeah, how once is. you understand the basics, you can just kind of take one step after the other. It seems intimidating when you look at the whole thing and that you're doing it yourself, but if you break it down step by step, it's actually, it's more simple than I thought. It's that time. Hot tips. Hot tip number one, be prepared. Pretty simple, make a list, Google the project, do a bit of research and just know what you're getting into. Hot tip number two, strapping. We strap the side of the cabin, uh, which really does two things. First of all, it gives you a nice anchor point for your boards to get attached to and your battens to get attached to. It also creates a thermal air gap, which uh, can increase the R value of your home and make your cabin a little warmer. Definitely as a newbie, I found the strapping and knowing that that's where I could drill into, it seemed a lot easier. Hot tip number three, we use screws instead of nails. There's many different reasons and arguments for which to use, but for us, it was a lot easier to use screws. So when we made a mistake, or if we made a mistake, we could yeah. take the board out and move it quite easily. So I would recommend screws whenever possible. I have to say, putting in that last board was really exciting. I guess it was a batten, actually. That good catch, good catch. <laughs> the final batten. The final batten, and seeing the visual, like when you're putting all the individual pieces together, it's when you take a step back, and like, it's really, it's really something. You knew exactly what you were doing, from measuring, to cutting, to installing. At that point, you... Basically didn't need you anymore. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Better be careful. <laughs> Just doing that one wall from the time that I started to the time that we finished and put that final batten in, I feel like I've learned so much and I feel so much more confident now. And that's very cool, it's very empowering. Well, on to the next job. What's it gonna be? I have a couple ideas. I bet. I bet you do too. Can we go <laughs> swimming first? Yeah, we can do that. Can we relax. <laughs> <laughs>